guys, my name is Ghost Chad Longston of Bot Built for Theme Park News, and welcome to a Theme Park News update from Tokyo Disneyland. Now, this is on the expansions uh, in Fantasyland and Tomorrowland. Uh, we've got some brand new details from that. We've got a, a sort of overview of all the expansions going on uh, for next year. So we're talking about all of that, showing you all the details from the article, and also giving you my personal thoughts. So before we start, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Make sure you share the channel around with your friends, family, and on social media. And also make sure you stay tuned for more theme park news updates. But let's get in then with this Tokyo Disneyland update. So let's have a look at some uh, concept art on your screen right now. Hello, it is. This is going to be uh, concept arts for uh, each of the expansions as we're talking about them. Uh, but let's have a look then uh, at basically what's going down. So basically what is going to be going down then is uh, new expansions, uh, a new Tokyo Disneyland expansion uh, opening on the April 15th. Um, so we've got, um, so we're showing you concept art from Enchanted Tale of Beauty and the Beast, uh, and other stuff as well. So let's go in then into, uh, Fantasyland. So let's have a look then at the new themed area themed to Beauty and the Beast that's going to be going down at the park. So, basically, this area stretches from the village where Belle lives into the forest, where the Beast Castle is, is, is secluded. At the entrance to the village is the home of Belle's father, Maurice's cottage, uh, and fast pass machines will be located there, so that's going to be a fast pass machine, uh, which is very good. Inspired by the film, a fountain dedicated to Gaston can be found in the centre of the village. La Tavern de Gaston restaurant and village shops, including one theme to the bookstore that Belle frequents, lying in the street. Uh, with music from the film playing, guests will feel as though they've stepped right into Belle's world. But leaving the village behind, guests will enter the forest, where Beauty and the Beast castle looms. Inside the castle, guests can experience Enchanted Tale of Beauty and the Beast. This is the brand new e-ticket attraction coming to the park. Now, this ride looks brilliant. I'm not going to lie, it does look fantastic. Um, <clears throat> so, rising to a height of nearly 30 metres, Beauty and the Beast Castle has the major attraction of Chanted Tale of Beauty and the Beast. Boarding magical cups that dance in rhythm to the animated film's well-known music as they take guests through scenes depicting the story of Belle and the Beast. Guests step into the Beast Castle located deep in the forest uh, to experience the Chanted Tale. In the first scene, the beautiful Belle encounters a prince who has been transformed to a beast by powerful enchantress. Are born enchanted cups that move and turn as if they are alive. Guests travel through various scenes to experience the world of the film. There's the banquet where they dance together with the dish to cut the Ritter Lumiere singing. Um, so, again, very nice stuff there. Uh, the snow covered garden where they glide over the ice as Belle and the Beast find themselves growing closer. That's a that I mean, f I mean, just look at the concept art there. Brilliant looking scenes, isn't it? Um, the castle is filled with magical moments and surprises, so guests will discover something new each time they visit, which is a very nice touch to the attraction. Will Belle and the Beast find love at thus break the spell before the last battle of the Enchanted Rose falls? Guests can look forward to the magical romance on Enchanted Tale, Beauty and the Beast. Um, now, overall, the ride duration is about 8 minutes, and for those of you who need specific details on the following services available for this attraction, Disney Fast Pass, Single Rider, Happy 15 Entry, which is a special privilege that allows guests staying at a Disney Hotel, Twenster Park, 15 minutes before regular park opening time. So, if you're in the hotel and you get 15 minutes extra access into the park, then you'll be able to get this attraction. Um, now, lately, in terms of construction, obviously you won't be able to see these pictures, but uh, the castle itself is pretty much nearly done. I mean, they've got scaffolding around it at the minute, but it's pretty much nearly there, the, the castle, the main castle for the ride. Um, now, Walt Disney Imagineering have created outstanding audio animatronics for this Beauty and the Beast attraction, including Belle and the Beast in several distant scenes, Lumiere and even the Belle horse. Uh, now, I'm going to put a link to a video in the description down below. I want you to please check that video out. It is uh, a Disney YouTube channel video from the Disney Parks YouTube channel, and it's such a sneak peek of the audio animatronics. I mean, they look fantastic. I'm not gonna lie, it looks brilliant. Uh, but, um, basically, that's what it is. Um, so moving into the shops then, you got the village shops. Inspired by the shops in Disney's Beauty and the Beast, 
uh, filled with ornamentation and other details created uh, by the artisans of the little village where Belle lives. Village shops consist of La Belle La Briere, Little Town Traders and Bonjour Gifts. Uh, this trio of shops provide a delightful one-of-a-kind shopping experience. So again, they've really focused on the theme here. Uh, La Belle Library, designed like the bookshop that Belle visits in the film, and guests may recognise many details from the film, including the rolling ladder to reach books on the high shelves and Belle's favourite book. Little Town Traders is the shop where village craftspeople sell their wares, so I think that's very uh, design-yourself kind of merchandise and uh, ornaments and things like that. So guests will find handmade toys, like I said, uh, candlesticks, and dishware decorated in the shop. I predicted that before I read that. <laughs> uh, and then you've got Bonjour Gifts, which is themed as the shop of the village talented clothier and hat maker. Guests will find dresses and the clothier's tools in the shop. There are also special merchandise. Special merchandise. That's my theme song for special merchandise. Uh, so the shops will offer around 100 different types of special merchandise that will enhance the amb ambience from the Beauty and the Beast film. Uh, mugs and dishes with romantic design featuring Beauty and the Beast castle or bell dancing with the beast, as well as playful items like eyeglass stands and cushions with designs of the strong and handsome Gaston will be available. Merchandise with motifs of the Enchanted Rose from the story will also be available, including the Melody Light Rose, a toy that emits light and sound. So again, I'm very excited about the um, um, like range of shopping in this in this new park. I think it's a fantastic um, sort of way. Uh, now, in terms of restaurants, you've got La Tavern de Gaston, seating around 200 guests. Uh, this counter service restaurant is styled after the tavern in Disney's Beauty and the Beast. The interior of the tavern proudly displays trophies celebrating Gaston's many accomplishments. There's even the large portrait of Gaston above the fireplace, as seen in the film. So brilliant there again. This restaurant serves hearty fare themed uh, to Gaston. Uh, guests can enjoy the ambience of the Disney film while enjoying a sausage in the croissant and a sweet savoury French toast sandwich with cheese or a soft drink version of Gaston's favourite brew. Uh, hopefully they serve the actual brew as well. Uh, but, um, yeah, so they've got something for the whole family with this restaurant, which is, I, I love that, that's brilliant. Uh, moving in then to Le Fou, this, Le Fou's, this is uh, another restaurant. Next door to Le Tavern de Gaston uh, will be Le Fou's, a small snack shop named after Gaston's psychic. So I like how it's right next to Gaston's restaurant as well. It's sort of fits with the whole character stylization of the film. Served here with an apple caramel churros, a new flavour of Tokyo Disneyland, so very nice there. And you've also got the popcorn wagon, Le Petit Papa. Uh, this little popcorn wagon in Village where Belle lines up certainly fresh popcorn. Uh, so again, very, very nice. Now, in terms of entertainment, we've got the brand new Fantasyland Forest Theatre. Deep in Fantasyland, in a fairy tale setting, lies the immersive Fantasyland Forest Theatre. This is the first indoor theatre at Tokyo Disneyland, uh, with half timbers, tree forms and pillars, both the exterior and the interior design of this theatre are inspired by the forest. Uh, the chandeliers will appear to use candles, are rustic as well. Uh, the theatre is decorated with beautiful tapestries and mirrors which celebrate the forest. So, again, very, very nice there. Um, and the woodland creatures from Disney Animation. So, in terms of the latest construction, there's a full scaffolding over it. Um, so, you know, they're getting the sort of interior, exterior design already and things like that. And that should hopefully be done soon, uh, which I'm hoping for. You also have, uh, now, in terms of the capacity, it's about 1,500 persons. Uh, now, you've got uh, a new musical called Mickey's Magical Music World. Uh, it's about 25 minutes. It performs five to nine times daily. Uh, it features the following Disney characters. Mickey Mouse, Minnie Mouse, Donald Duck, Goofy, Snow White, Pinocchio, Jiminy Cricket, Woody, Jesse, Lumiere, Belle, Alice, Mary Poppins, Baloo, King Louie, Timon, Cinderella, Jasmine, Rapunzel, Peter Pan, Captain Hook, Mr. Smee and others. So... That's a very ranged cast. <laughs> um, so in terms of the actual, like what the show's about, basically this show features Mickey Mouse and his pals in a spectacular performance of music and dance that makes them uh, full use of the theater's large scale stage and uh, uh, sets and effects. 
Uh, so one day, Mickey Mouse, Minnie Mouse, Donald Duck, and Goofy find a magic box, a giant music box deep in the forest. Um, they turn the music box with a large key and saw suddenly open, accompanied by the songs associated with them. Various Disney characters appear, um, and of course, Mickey and his pals are delighted uh, with the surprising development and are excited to hear the next song. But when the last door opens, no one appears and no music is heard. Worried, Mickey and his pals set off on a journey to find the missing song. So that's the whole story behind this. It's finding the missing song. Um, along the way, they encounter characters from many Disney films, Lumiere from Beauty and the Beast, welcomes them with a colourful banquet. King Louie and others from the jungle, but together with Tom from The Lion King, put on a powerful jungle style performance. And all the world of starry skies and mirrors, the Disney princesses dance a graceful waltz. And then Ursula from The Little Mermaid and Cats Up from Peter Pan appears in a thrilling scene. Will the journey of the Mickey Files lead them to the lost song? This is for guests of all ages. Uh, and in terms of special merchandise, around 15 different types of plush toys and plush badges of Mickey Mouse and his pals wearing costumes like the ones they were wearing in the musical will be available. So overall then, that is the Fantasyland um, expansion. So you've got the new Beauty and the Beast area. You've got uh, the Forest Theatre. And you've also got other things as well. Now, I'm really excited. I, I'm really excited. Um, I'm leaving the pictures on screen before we go into the next expansion, but you can, it, but you, and you won't be able to tell. But I am really excited about this. I think that Fantasyland would be. I think Beauty and the Beast was the was the right way to go with this. I think for an expansion, I think Beauty and the Beast was the right way to go. Um, so I do believe that uh, this is going to be a fantastic expansion. I think. Um, you know, it was it was a it was a perfect uh, theme to go for Beauty and the Beast. I think that for a dark ride, I think that Beauty and the Beast was a good was a good theme for it. Uh, I, obviously, I've seen pictures before. I've done an update on and chance to tell the Beauty and the Beast before uh, months ago now. Um, and you saw the level of detail and the concept art on there. I put some of that same concept art back on your screen for that one, uh, but. Like I said, I'm just really excited about this. I can't, I can't wait. I really can't wait. Um, so let's go in then to our next expansion. This is in Tomorrowland. So uh, it starts off with the Happy Ride with Baymax. So opening in Tomorrowland, the Happy Ride with Baymax is the world's first rotating ride attraction themed to Big Hero 6, released in Japan as Baymax. So that's why it's called the Happy Ride with Baymax, because it's not it means Big Hero 6 in Japan. Uh, the brilliant young inventor, Hiro Hamada, learns from his robotic personal healthcare uh, companion, Baymax, that the, the first step in making people healthy is to make them happy. So he, met, so he and Baymax develop this wild musical ride that is sure to make everybody happy. So this is a rotating ride. From the looks of it, it kind of looks like a new version of the Huss Breakdance. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. You see the concept art already on your screen. It, it, it's, it's ridiculous. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I think it looks like the new version of the of the uh, the Breakdance. But again, you know, it, it, I don't know. I, I think. It's like a new type of ride. Um, it's, it's presented by Daihatsu Motor Company LCD. Uh, so again, we don't know. Uh, it's about a one and a half minute duration. Uh, and now Disney Fast Pass guests must be 81 centimeters or taller to ride. Uh, now there's no 15 minute uh, thing with the hotel guests on this one. So that's a thing you gotta watch out for. Uh, in terms of food facilities, you got the Big Pot next door, uh, which is a cosmic themed shop specializing in popcorn. The first shop in Tokyo Disney Resort dedicated to popcorn. Appropriate for its location, the shop is themed to outer space, of course. Uh, hanging from the starry ceiling is a huge popcorn chandelier represents the Big Bang that created the universe. Large windows allow guests both inside and outside the shop to view the kitchen where the popcorn is being made and enjoy the aroma. The Big Pop offers a variety of popcorn buckets that can be filled with a choice of three flavours from popcorn, cookie and cream, available for the first time at the park, Caramel and cheese and strawberry milk. Now, I'm not going to lie, I think the caramel and cheese one kind of takes my fancy here. The mushroom type popcorn offered here is aromatic and hearty. So, very nice that. Uh, merchandise facilities you've got the Stargazer Supplies. This merchandise wagon featuring a giant telescope is themed to a going place for both astronomers and stargazers. So that is your second expansion going in uh, next year. This is the uh, Tomorrowland expansion with the Big Hero 6 characters coming in. 
Now, like I said, again, really excited. I think this is going to be brilliant. Um, I think that the addition of this kind of ride is a good move. I think it's a good, thrilling ride for all ages. Um, and I think that they're going to do a really good job with it. So, again, you know, you've got to think here. Um, but I think overall, I think this is going to be a fantastic attraction. I think, uh, again, the park are going to do a really cool job with it. Uh, and I think it's going to be a fantastic ride for all ages. Moving in then to Toontown. So this is for the brand new um, sort of um, meet and greet. Um, now there isn't actually any other, um, you know, stuff. Uh, there is work going on though uh, on Fantasy Springs, which is the new port for 2022. Um, there is currently work going on. Um, now if you look on at Satella747 on Twitter, uh, at A-S-A-T-E-L-L-A-747, uh, that's on Twitter, you can see some construction pictures on this. Uh, you can see the future land next to uh, Tokyo Disneyland. Um, now, check, now you can see the other picture uh, before work began on TDR parking lot where they built Fantastic Spr uh, Fantasy Springs. Uh, there is also um, pictures all over social media on the model with Miniland indicated. And, there's, and the construction site right now is full of cranes and considering the opening of Fantastic Springs in three years, of course not much to see at this point. Um, so let's go back and let's have a look then finally at this Toontown expansion and sort of give you my thoughts. And then I'm going to go into my overall thoughts on this. Uh, for the first time at Tokyo Disneyland, guests will be able to meet Minnie Mouse in a very own greeting facility with Minnie's style studio opens in, to in Toontown. As a world-renowned fashion designer, Minnie Mouse will greet guests while wearing her latest design, which will change each season. Decked out with a big polka dot bow, Minnie's style studio is where she designs, creates and photographs in her new fashions. Guests enter the lobby where posters of magazine covers featuring Minnie are on display, visit her office where she draws her original designs and then pass through the workroom where Minnie designs become outfits. Finally, guests will enter the photo studio where Minnie will greet them wearing her latest high fashion design for the season. Minnie's costumes will come in four designs, one to match each season, so that's pretty cool. Uh, so you're going to get an autumn photo, a winter photo, a spring photo and a summer photo. When Minnie's Style Studio opens, she'll greet guests in a hat and dress with a formal design pre perfect for the spring season. Uh, so Toontown is presented by Kadansha Limited, uh, just for a little bit of a uh, construction um, sort of take on it. Uh, in each of the four seasons, uh, special merchandise with mortis matching the costume will, uh, Minnie wears at the studio will be available. In springtime, uh, eight different types of merchandise, including hairbands and push badges, will be available. Um, Tokyo Disneyland. Um, and look, look, there's, a, there's a description in French here <laughs> on the website which I'm looking at. Uh, guests will find nearly 130 types of special merchandise in two different designs featuring the four new major attractions opening at Tokyo Disneyland. Uh, the other design will feature the distinctive logos of the new facilities. Um, one design will show Mickey Mouse's excitement over the opening of the new attractions. So uh, that's the first design is on about with Mickey Mouse excited. That's on about 90 types of merchandise. Uh, greeting cards with pop art images of the four facilities, tissue holders, keychains, and chocolate crunch, a long time favourite souvenir, and other items will be featured with this design. The second design with the distinctive logo for the new facilities, the stylish design will be used on about 40 types of merchandise, including t shirts, caps, neck straps, and pass cases that can be used both in and outside the park. So there we go. That then is the big. Um, sort of news update talking about uh, Tokyo Disneyland and what's coming next year. Uh, big update there, massive updates on what's coming next year for Tokyo Disneyland. Obviously Fantasyland with the Enchanted Tale Beauty and the Beast stuff, uh, Tomorrowland with the, the brand new Big Hero 6 themed attraction, uh, and of course you've got uh, Toontown with Mickey Minnie's brand new meet and greet studio. So, and of course, like I said before, we, sort of, we spoke about Toontown, work is progressing slowly but surely on the 2022 area, Fantasy Springs, the brand new port. Uh, but, there we go, so I'm really excited about this, Tokyo Disneyland and Tokyo Disney Sea there, uh, really cool stuff, really cool stuff, and I cannot wait for this new thing to open, so 
thank you very much for watching this theme park news and update. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. And for now, guys, my name is Ghost Child, Kill in the Coast of Life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, have an awesome day, my friends.